if I had to, if, if I put you on the spot right now and says, all right, give me your final four. Uh, well, mm-hmm. actually, I should say, give me your final three because I, I know that uh, Purdue, you'll have Purdue in there. But the and other not three, this year five, wins, Jim. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's that's the thing. Um, I, and I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, of the mind that they can't, that they right. won't make it to the final four. I am of the mind that they won't win a national championship because of the things I've talked about previously with, I, you know, going back and looking at the five previous national mm. champions, they had four NBA draft picks on every one of those teams. Um, and it just, it, it, I just don't think that that's accidental, but I, regardless of not, that, do you not think Braden Smith will be in the NBA? Hmm. I don't That's think he'll the, be a high pick, but I think he'll play in the league. I don't. I, I don't. That's I think fair. that there's physical limitations. But uh, it, it, and it'll be a bigger, easier question to answer after next season, after Zach Eady's gone. Right? Does he step up and elevate his game more, which they will will need? Um, does it take a step back? So I mean. Far be it for me, I'm not an NBA scout, and I don't pretend to be. I don't think that that would be the case, um, but uh, we shall see. But as far as the Final Four, man, I it is – Kansas is the most – uh, the the t- Kansas is the most Jekyll and Hyde team in the top 25. Every time I think that they are – uh, like a final four ish lock, they lose, and I'm like, man, they they've got four guys, so, like they've got four really good guys, and if anything which that helps, wrong, that's big, it helps, but it also like if anything goes wrong, like one of them gets in foul trouble, one of them gets hurt, like it's hard to count on that for three straight weekends. I find it really hard not to go chalk with the top three. I think Houston, Purdue, UConn has been just head and shoulders all season above everyone else, and I think there are real flaws everywhere else. Houston's the first team I kick out of that. Really? Yeah. But it, is that just because you feel bad about them? Like, there can't be another team you feel particularly better about, is there? I, no, it's it's just that I think that, uh, like, their half-court offense isn't great. It's the not- way they got beat by Kansas, I was like, wow. So it, it, this all comes down to matchups. Because uh, I said previously there were uh, – 14 hell there's 16 teams that that i think that uh can make the final four and that starts with uh well sick kentucky kentucky going up anybody in that top 16 the ap top 25 i think is more than capable of winding up in the final four houston purdue yukon of course tennessee marquette John says no because they don't get past the uh, <laughs> Sweet 16. So I, I will take his advice and I'll kick them out. And that next it down to 15. Uh, you've got Arizona, Kansas, Iowa State is I a like Iowa State. dark horse. I like Man, State. I do not sleep on Iowa State. They're in the Big 12. They're 21 and six playing in that league. And uh, they've just quietly, they have to be the most quietly ranked number eight team in the country. Second best defense, according to Ken Palm, uh, proven winner of a coach. Yeah, I like, I definitely like that team. Otzelberger That's going to be my dark horse to, to make the final four. And then, yeah. of course, you've got Duke and North Carolina from the ACC that are uh, having back to having good years, both also at 21 and six. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see Auburn. I, I Creighton is not one. I'm kicking them out. Um, really? Yeah, Illinois. I'm kicking them out. I'm kicking um, Illinois out for sure. Baylor. Yeah, I'm not so. Baylor played Baylor. Houston tough. Uh, they they made some boneheaded plays. I don't like Alabama. I would not consider those big guys are those big guys are not winning a national title. They are boneheaded, make poor plays. They're they're fake tough, and they're just uh, not. But the guard play at Alabama is great. Um, yeah, I, and just to talk about the Final Four is almost a joke after last year 
when St. Mary's and, and FAU make it. And I don't mean that as a slight to them. I mean, it just shows that, hey, don't – you can't count. There's just so many different teams. Uh, that's why I'm like, all right, uh, no chalk. Uh, there are team rankings. People get to ride on rankings. Uh, Marquette could be one of those. John could be on to something. Uh, you never know. They don't. They play in the Big East, which is a pretty. It's been a pretty strong league this year. Yeah, but, uh, North Carolina's there. RJ Davis can get hot. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see how much. I think they're better than Duke. Yeah, it's pretty close to me. Um, I, I think I trust that more. I think I will take the defensive-minded team in the tournament over the offensive one if I have a choice. I, I think it'll be interesting, you know, when you're talking about UConn and Purdue especially. They've kind of worn the crown all season. UConn especially. Obviously, you bring the title back. Does that wear on a team? Do you get to the tournament and you feel exhausted with it? Um, is it more of a burden than an opportunity when you get to the March Madness? Same thing with Purdue. You know, they fought all year to get back to the exact place last year to kind of make up for it. Is that extra juice or is that extra pressure? Does like, there's a lot of people on that Purdue roster that are, I'm going to talk to him today about the Michigan state game. And I'm talking to the seniors and like, I'm going to ask them what, what defines their legacy. And you got to think at the back of their mind, even if they don't say it, like, this tournament run is going to define a lot of things for Zach Eady, Ethan Moore, and Mason Gillis, Matt Painter as a whole, and those guys all. Part of the problem with loving your coach so much is that you really do care what happens and what people say about them. So is that added pressure stimulant when it comes to March, or is it something that holds you back? And uh, when you talk to uh, Purdue players or even uh, – I haven't asked Matt this, but – first pressure uh, for this year you said mm -hmm. it if not this if, if if not this year win yeah and that has to be there's no way that i know you can try not to think about it but there's no way that it that it cannot sneak into your subconscious yeah i mean peter said it a couple times about ed like i've got this once in a generational guy we've got to be better for him and I think on a personal level, that's more pressure than even let alone, you know, doing it for Gene Katie or the fan base, everything else. Like it's, there's so many areas where this Purdue team is just, it is maybe the most fascinating step into March for any program team that I can remember in a long time. Cause it, it's similar to Tony Bennett and Virginia, obviously, because they were so good, but the legacy of, Virginia didn't quite stretch so much into the basketball world as this little corner here in Indiana. And, you know, you look at the men's and the women's, there's a huge difference to me in uh, Purdue has the, what will be the two time reigning player of the year. Iowa will also have the reigning two time mm -hmm. player of the year, but there's a difference between Purdue is looked at as a, uh, a, 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 I can't use the word shoe in, but they are looked at by many people as a final four team. Mm -hmm. uh, and right. And rightfully so, but not everybody, not that same amount of people feel that way about the Iowa women's team. Right. Um, they're hell. They're not even the best in their own conference. Right. Women. I mean, you women's know, basketball is a strange oddity where it's like, everything's kind of, it's even more extreme. Like the really good teams are the really good teams. And there's like what eight teams that even have a chance. The only reason Iowa has a chance is because they have the greatest college women's player of all time. And the idea but that's you, not, but that's the same thing. You could say that for Purdue though. I mean, if you sure. don't have Zach Eady on that, I mean, and, and, and that goes for a lot of teams. I mean, right. you take their best player off. Well, who the hell are they? I mean, I, you can have the only, Yes. Well, I guess you could say Iowa has another girl who's pretty much an all American too. Oh yeah. Well, she right? scored 40. So, like, she, hell, she had the, yeah. she had the a scoring She's record. In the until career record yeah. and Clark went off yeah. and she pulled a Larry bird. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Kevin McHale had the, the scoring record for what, like two weeks once right. uh, for Boston and bird said, yeah, that's enough of that. 
Yeah, uh, so Purdue has two All Americans, but like, there's no arguing that like the ship sails with Edie. Like, he's the one holding that afloat and directing them forward. So yeah, it's it is a like you. I don't think because personally, you know, I'm I'm invested, but like I I've been doing this as a job for a while. The the, the fan part of me is very small compared to what it was, but there will be a hollow if this Purdue team doesn't get to the final four this season. I, I don't think Purdue fans are emotionally prepared to once again have to deal with the ultimate disappointment, which seems to be the only thing that gets dealt in March for Purdue fans. And that's, it's a hard conversation and it's a hard truth to stare down. And it, it becomes even worse when you know, well, Edie's leaving after this year. So like the best path that Purdue has is leaving with the seven foot four guy from Canada. Yeah. And uh, that adds to the stress level uh, for the fans. Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, be because it's not just that they haven't been to the final four, but they haven't been to the elite eight, but what three times in since 1980. Yeah. Uh, 2019. I mean the, the Oregon or the, yeah, the Oregon game. So like the last time they were there, they'd ended in that fashion. Like the Purdue Purdue fans have been put through the ringer. There, there's there's no denying that. 